Good morning and welcome to the morning encouragement from Smak Menabur, Kota Wisata. I hope you're doing well and ready to start your day. Today's morning devotion is brought to you by Andrea from 10 Science 1, with Stephen from 10 Science 3 as the musician, and Kyria from 11 Science 3 as the singer of the song Above All. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your blessings upon us. We had a good rest and we are ready to start our day. Before we start our learning, we would like to hear your words. Send us your Holy Spirit to be our guide and give us wisdom so we can understand the topic we are going to discuss. In your name we pray, Amen. Today's devotion title is Impossible Forgiveness, which is taken from Luke chapter 23, verse 32 until 43. Liberators found the following prayer crumpled among the remains of the Ravensbrück concentration camp where Nazis killed nearly 50,000 women. It reads, O Lord, remember not only the men and women of goodwill, but also those of ill will. But do not remember the suffering they have inflicted upon us. Remember the fruits we brought thanks to the suffering. Our courage, our loyalty, our humility, the courage, the generosity, the greatest of heart which has grown out of this. And when they come to judgment, let all the fruits that we have borne be their forgiveness. I can't imagine the fear and pain that the terrorized woman who wrote this prayer experienced. I can't imagine what kind of inexplicable grace these words require from her. She asked God's forgiveness for her oppressors. This prayer reminds us of Christ's prayer. After being wrongly accused, mocked, beaten, and humiliated, Jesus was crucified along with two criminals. I won't expect Jesus to pronounce judgment on his tormentors to seek retribution and justice. However, Jesus uttered a prayer contradicting every human impulse. In verse 34, he prayed, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. As humans, it doesn't make sense to us. It sounds impossible. Many of us believe that the harm someone has done to us should also happen to them, and that we shouldn't forgive them. 
but Jesus taught us the opposite. He has forgiven our sins, so why not forgive others? The forgiveness Jesus offers seems impossible, but He offers it to us. In His divine grace, impossible forgiveness feels free. Let us pray. Dear Lord, thank you for your guidance throughout our devotion. You died for us and washed away all our sins. You taught us to forgive others because you have forgiven us. Give us a heart that forgives whatever others have done to us. And please bless us so that we can study and do our exams well. Now, before we end our devotion, let us pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen.